Well, Gary, I think I'm like everybody else in New Brunswick and actually the world who watched this evolve, I think, on TV. Um, I, I was in Miramichi at the time and I heard about it, and the gentleman who owned the painting, who got me to do the painting, um, uh, Randy Urquhart from Honda in Miramichi, if I can say it, he got locked into the Marriott Hotel in Moncton, and I was leaving from Miramichi trying to meet him, and I couldn't because of the whole town was sealed down. So I just, I guess I was caught like everyone else, and then watched the funeral for four hours, and was just set transfixed by the images, and uh, they kept showing, particularly the man on the right, Gary, um, the guy leaning against the car, if you look, he has a cell phone in his hand, and he's just completely overwhelmed by the whole thing. And when I showed it to the Mounties in uh, Moncton, Commander Brown from uh, RCMP said that that image showed how every Mountie in New Brunswick and the world, I think, felt at that moment. Complete anguish. And then I showed the three men at the top, Gary, bound together by their red uniforms. As you can see, they're blazing red. And then I put a blue halo of light around it to give it a, I don't know, like a heavenly look or just something to close off the top. And then in the middle is the dog, um, Danny. Um, I wanted to show that, and I've taken the top of the Mountie off to concentrate on the dog and the, the Mountie carrying the hat. And as you know, during the funeral, the dog apparently, I didn't catch the moment, but went up and got up on the coffin. I guess it was very powerful. Um, on the right, I have children. There were a lot of children came to the site, Gary. Uh, put flowers, balloons, little packages of cookies, signs. Now, this is a sign on the right, Gary, over here that says, we love you. There were simple things left, Gary. Here's a styrofoam letters cut out saying hope. And at the bottom was a rock sandblasted, Commander Brown said, monked and strong, and they just left it on the steps. And we're trying to figure out who did this. If someone's watching, please call me and tell me who it is. We can't figure out why the two rocks at the top, Gary. It's sort of a mystery, like Stonehenge. And the title of the painting is called Heroes in Our Hearts, and my friend Colleen Foster gave the title. I had a title, Gary, called Fallen But Not Forgotten. And Colleen said, sounds like an army norm. And so I said, well, Colleen, can you give me a better title? And she said, Heroes in Our Hearts. So that's what we used. And I think it's very powerful. Um, I guess I wanted to, after the funeral, I think, Gary, there were so many images. We went through hundreds of images. People holding each other and people crying and people kneeling and people leaving flowers and, you know, just all kinds of things. A policeman standing with their hats off. We, we went through a lot of images, but we found that this represented, and then the flowers at the bottom, Gary, many left flowers, and they just closed off the bottom of the painting. Commander Brown said the night before they took everything down, he was afraid of the weather. He went on Facebook to get help. 500 people showed up to take away the flowers and everything for him. I thought that was powerful. And uh, I met with the family, um, the wives in Moncton. It was extremely emotional. Here's a photograph of Commander Brown and the three wives and myself with the painting. And... Um, I said to Commander Brown, I don't think I can do this. I was standing in the hallway, and he said, just go ahead. If you have trouble, stop, take a deep breath, and continue. So I went in the room, and I told him my deepest sympathy. And uh, then I explained the painting, and I asked him if, I, if they thought I did a good job on the faces, and they said yes. So then I asked them if they would give permission, along with the Mounties, for us to do prints and calendars and raise money for the uh, trust fund. And they said, yes, so we're going to produce calendars and prints uh, and sell them, and part of the proceeds will go to the families. Where will the picture, the, the, the original painting? The original painting will be presented uh, to, in Moncton. We're not sure yet where, but it will be given to the city of Moncton and the people of Moncton, who were so moved by this event. And Randy Urquhart and myself always felt that the fitting place for it to be was not in a private collection in a home, and Randy agreed with myself to give it to the people in the city of Moncton, and actually the world. 